Today, I'm going to be showing this uh, right angle drill I bought off Amazon. It's a Genesis 3 8 call it. I think it goes um, 0 to 1600 RPMs. What is it here? It's uh, 3.5 amps. Um, I bought this. It's the cheaper one. I bought it for um, sanding for when I'm doing chainsaw carving. So I got, uh, we'll pull it out of the box. I got some wood here and I'll show you what kind of sanders I'm going to use on it. Okay, so here is the drill itself. You got a thing there to put your chuck in. Um, there's your things for your brushes. There's one on the other side too. It's got a decent rubber handle. It is speed control. It has a forward reverse. It does have a locking pin to keep it going when you're running full throttle. I know they do make uh, Makita's cordless ones. I probably, I'm sure probably DeWalt makes them too. This is good for close quarter um, sanding. So like say if you're doing a big owl and you carve in the wings, you can sand uh, inside each cut. Uh, my buddy Ben brought his over when he helped me um, do some chainsaw carving to show me how to carve an eagle. And he brought his and I completely forgot about these. So I thought that I would get one off of uh, um, Amazon. So like I said, it's a little bit bulkier. It's a little bit heavier, but that's not a big deal. I'm just going to abuse the hell out of this thing. And um, it's fairly affordable. So now I'm going to get the camera in the overhead and show you all the different types of uh, what uh, right angle sanders that you can use. Okay, so this is a quarter inch uh, shaft here, right? It comes, you can buy these on Amazon. You can buy them as sets. And these are these ones are just turn on. So this would be like a mandrel, I guess. It's just a turn on. And you buy these sanders that have like a, you see that rubber thing on there? And it just, it's just like a thread. Boom, it's on. And you get all different sorts of ones. Like you get the sanding pads like this. See the rubber thing on the back? And you just spin it on. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of these kind of things, you know, different grits, like what's this, 40 grit? Look at the grit on that, just put it on there, and then you get it in your drill. We'll do a little test in a minute here. So that's that, you know, here's another one. So I've, I I haven't used these in a long time, but I've had them for when I begin uh, wood carving. If you have a big enough compressor, you can get one like this that hooks up to your air. Bzzm, bzzm, bzzm. You know, when you put this in here. My compressor is not quite big enough to run this, so um, I don't really use it, but I just bought it uh, maybe a few months ago. You can get ones like this that um, go in your drill, your normal drill, and then you get a different angle. And this is good when you're doing like bowls and sinks and stuff like that. Um, I, did, I didn't I did film it, but I did carve a big bowl out of a uh, big bathroom sink for a friend out of a big old burl. I think it was willow tree. But yeah, so you put this on your drill and then you use a pad like this, right? And then you can get in all different areas and stuff like that. This one was cheap too. I bought it on Amazon. So if you only got a Dremel, you can get um, ones like this. This is for a Dremel. This will go on your Dremel. This is a right end attachment. There is a way to hook this up to your um, flex shaft. There's a video on YouTube. I don't, I think I might have made a video how to do it because you got to get a washer and put a washer in here and reverse this cap, but I'm not going to get into that. But this is Velcro. You see, what just fell off there? This fell off. This is Velcro. Like they call it hook and loop, right? So this is two inch and this is foam all in here, right? That yellow stuff's foam. These are fairly cheap to buy these kits on Amazon. This is a more expensive one, but I don't have it here, but what my buddy Pete for, did for me a long time ago. So this is two inch and all you do is you get like a, a hole saw and you grind the teeth off of it and you, you sharpen it. So it's like a, a knife edge. And then you can just buy like hook and loop sandpaper. Oh, this one's not even hook and loop, but we're talking about like the Velcro. And then you can make your own sanding disc with the hole punch, get a piece of wood, you know, bang the, the hole punch on the wood on the sandpaper and it will come out like this. I don't know where it is. And there, and this is one eighth. And they also make these types a uh, quarter inch too for your Fordhams or uh, not die grinder. That'd be way too fast, but there's smaller ones too. And I don't have the, um, I don't have the, the sandpaper for this, but this is hook and loop. 
and this would go on your Dremel too. This is a one eighth. You know, so these things just unscrew like this. When this gets worn out, you just get another one, you screw it in. Right? So let's see here. So here's a smaller one. I unscrewed it from this mandrel. And oh that's too tight, but I'm sure this bigger one would fit on this mandrel here too. And these mandrels would probably work good for sanding. I know, um, I think um, a longtime subscriber and friend Andy uses these because you get a little nut in here and then you could just put the emery cloth on this and use this for sanding too. So, but you get all different sorts of stuff like this is for a quarter inch. You know, it's a big foam. So see how squishy it is. So when you're doing something round, you, it, it, the foam will help you just do it. Um, I think that's about it for this. So there's all different sorts of stuff you can get. Like um, I just got I just got so much here. I'll just show you. You know I got five times this amount. So here's a hook and loop uh, emery cloth. Hook and loops also for you that don't know. It's um, friggin' Velcro. So see that goes on there too. So there's all different sorts of stuff you can get for these. And you don't, you can just run this straight off your Dremel too, right? If you want to do some sanding. So I got this board, cedar board here. And I think what I'm going to do is probably just hook this one up to the new uh, drill, right angle drill and um, sand it. Also, I'm going to leave a description. Here comes the car salesman part. I'll leave a description to that drill in my um, Amazon store. If you're thinking about getting one, it will take you right to the uh, drill and down and below in the description. And when you do buy something in my Amazon store, you are, uh, I don't make a lot of money, but you are helping the channel out, right? So, you know, you get all different grits, all different sorts of stuff, you know. The, it, the list just goes on and on and on and on. It, it really never ends. Before I hook up the drill, you know, like, like you get bigger, set, big, bigger sanding hook and loop here too. Here's 80 grit, but look at this, look at the size difference. And you can buy these bits, these, um, those uh, foam ones. You can buy these bigger too that will fit right in your grinder. And you can use the bigger sanding pads too. So I just got so much stuff from when I first started carving. I still, all I ever do is spend money on carving. It, it's not a cheap hobby once you start getting into the bigger scale of things. Even the Dre the Dremel scale of things, I spent so much money, wasted so much money, and but you know, this is stuff that I got, and I'm, I, I'll use. It's the future now from four years ago, and I'm going to pull it out and start using it again when I'm chainsaw carving. Okay, so I got the piece in there. I myself like the keyless chucks. You know, this one's you need the key and stuff in there to do it. A keyless chuck, you just turn it, and it's good to go. But um, let's try this out. I'm just going to turn my table on, my dust collecting table on. The dust gets sucked through here and try it out. Well, this this is a little bit too big of grit, so let's just switch it out. You unscrew it. You put another one in that's less grit, finer grit. So there you go. Here's an example. Say you got an owl wing, and that's cut out like this. It's slower in here, and you got to get in there. Okay. So there you go. I think it's um I think it's gonna do me good. Hopefully it lasts a while. You gotta keep an eye on your brushes, right? Check them once in a while and um have fun.